Hey y'all, it's your girl Cass. Welcome to my page, my channel. See, I held myself accountable because I almost didn't come on, but you know what? The rising is not over, so we gonna get it done, okay? So, all right, with the title, what up, Shakir? Listen, I'm gonna... I was going to message after I get off here if you're still on your trip. I got you. Um, so basically, the other rising, I seen a, a post. And I like to use these things as like a topic for me to talk about. Because it'd be too easy. I'm sorry. Y'all make it too easy. And then when you see the amount of people that react to it, I feel like it should probably be talked about on like a level head. Okay, so I'm going to read it. This was on Facebook, by the way. Um, what's up, y'all? What's up, perfection? So, basically, she said, I think it's so funny how the average young mother today will say you can still be a bad bitch or have fun while being a mom. These are in quotes, by the way. Um, like, no, no, you can't. Being a mother is putting childish shit like fun behind you and being the teacher and mother your child slash children need. Being a mother is supposed to be selfish. I mean, selfless, not selfish. How is going out even fun for you? You don't enjoy your child. Y'all don't have hobbies. <laughs> That's why y'all aren't really raising them. If they're not in daycare, it's grandparents, a auntie. Kids spend 85% of their time at school. So what are y'all really doing? Again, y'all's babies have a favorite rapper and not a favorite inventor or, or book. What are they learning? Most American babies can't even speak English, let alone another language. Besides, which is facts, which is facts. Besides what this fucked up school system in America is teaching them. So, <laughs> period. So basically, this was reposted by another mother that I know, and she was like, what do you mean I can't have fun and have, like, a child? So I think it's very easy where we live in a time where people are so reactive and, like, sensitive to the point where y'all are always defensive and act like you don't know what somebody is talking about. I just want to say, first of all, when I speak... I speak from a place of love. I'm not here to judge anyone or make you feel bad, but I'm here to hold each other accountable. And if we work on it, what up? And if we work on it, let's improve. Not, It's not about being in shame. It's like if you're noting something and if that hit, if you read that and that hit a nerve, then that's probably something that you should be looking into yourself and be like, why did that hit? Do I feel like I'm lacking as a mom? Could I be better? At the end of the day, if you read it for what it was, first of all, if it didn't hit, you should know that you're a good mother and you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. I think, again, people just want to get defensive when it's just like, if you read it, obviously, you know, you can be a mom and still look good and have fun with your children. But I think that's the point. You're having fun with your children. I'm not saying it's not okay to have like, a night out maybe like by yourselves but even if like tribal shit that shit just wouldn't happen anyways you would just be with your child and family all of the time y'all not getting like they caused all this separation to begin with for you like i talked about this before but i think like y'all don't really understand what it takes to be a parent because y'all are literally going by the system that they gave you and not what it really supposed to be. That 85% influence that she said is very correct, honestly. Think about it. We have, so if we're going to use the time, and like we all know time is illusion, but since we in it, if we're going to use time, 24 hours, 8 hours sleeping, 8 hours at work or school, mmm... And then that other eight hours, you're supposed to be, what, eating at home, thinking we're talking or watching TV. Like, you really don't know your child because they're being influenced by outside factors outside of you. Okay? So, what she's saying is, 
do you guys really know what it takes to be a parent? And y'all think it's just what? After 18, y'all actually believe that shit? Or that you think they're just independent and just gonna never need their mom or dads anymore in that kind of way, shape, or fashion? Being a parent is a lifelong title. You can get in and out of the marriage. You can change that if you want to. But having a child, that is a permanent title until it's severed and you literally die. And even then, it's really not severed because there's a blood tie. Okay, are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down at the end of the day? Because let's not act like as soon as you have a baby because of society's pressure and in competition with other women thinking that you can be a cookie cutter, that that's more important. That's just crazy. You're literally putting on your your life on the line, but you have the audacity to say that you love your children. Like, that shit wasn't optional. Like, are you okay? You have to think about these things. Right? We really not even hoping in Parliament the start seeds. Then you want time away from them. Like, make it make sense. It's really upsetting because it's just like, I, I I see on the social media, parents can't wait until their kids can go to school so they can get a break or do whatever. And like, that's such a shame because you're supposed to be growing with your child. By the way, you're learning from them and they're learning from you. It's It's a reciprocation. When they're in school, they don't get that shit, bro. First of all, we should know by now it's an indoctrination. At this point, it's not even a safe place to send your kids to because there's a possibility it's going to be a fucking shootout. Like, are you okay? You should have been having that position in the first place. I'm just saying. Because now you have teachers who don't, who may or may not care about your your child, may, t- may tell them that they're good for nothing, that they have no potential you can't take that away because you wasn't there. That's an imprint on them. It can be a lifelong thing. Real shit. I don't know how many times we don't see people said like um, who became athletes or whatever. Not that I support that entertainment business. But you know how many athletes or whatever who wasn't doing school and they were told like they would amount to nothing. That they would end up in the prison line like system. That's what you, you, you want to be taught to your children because they don't have the same compassion or attention that you do. It cannot be replicated, bro. Not in that system. And then not only that, you have other children who may or may not have the same attention that you even give your child in the little amount of time that you spent with them. <laughs> okay? There's a lot of kids who not getting like, how was your day, sweetie? Tell me about it. How are you feeling? To the point where you get frustrated. God forbid your child rises in the morning and don't want to go through that shit because of whatever's going on in there that you unaware of. Okay? Y'all literally are feeding your kids to the wolves. They don't have your best interests. And even if they did, they're still going to be lacking because it's not you it's the system and then for the ones who wants to be a bad bitch what the fuck are you teaching your daughters and your sons too and at this point you can't even tell the difference between a a natural born woman and a made up one Pay for one. You think your child don't notice like, okay, mommy's body looked this way. And all of a sudden, she looks like this. What is this? What happened, mommy? Like, what'd you do? Y'all, and this is another thing too. I reposted this the other day. Hugs is mandatory. Can't even get that. That's crazy, right? Crazy. But y'all be discrediting kids when they're the real geniuses. You should be learning from them. 
And instead of you teaching your child your experiences and what you learned in the game, you're leaving it up to the people who created the game set up against you in the first place. Are you okay? And when we're talking about fun, everybody wants to be the fun mom. What is a fun mom? That's a mom who's who's present. Who's going to be in their child's life. Who gets them. Y'all don't, like, I need y'all to understand and understand. It's not the mom who just be partying and drinking. Because y'all think that shit is cute. You teaching them how to drink poison? Like, are we paying attention? Mommy, where you going now every weekend escaping? Daddy, too. Let me not just put it on the woman. Daddy, too. But most of them don't even beat it. And that's a shame, too. But if the mom is not doing it and you're not doing it, who's coming through? Who's going to save this child? You, you, come on, like, what are we doing? Y'all are losing it because of this system and society. How are you not getting it? You know what I'm saying? And it's okay. You know what? I can't even say how you're not getting it. I get why you're not getting it. Because you've been, like, conditioned obviously you see going to the club on tv you know what i mean you see that oh send kids off to school because that was the program in the system but who has the best interest it shouldn't be something that you would want to just ride be so willing to just give up like that i don't i don't get it i i i don't get it I want to be there for every milestone all those bright ideas and know that you are always supported and if anybody was to, like how if you if I was being 100% present y'all and that's crazy because y'all be thinking y'all and you know what's crazy? Because y'all be really thinking that y'all can't protect y'all children. You know why you can't protect your children? You keep sending them out there to the whole system. What the fuck you think you was going to be able to do there? If they were with you, how could you not protect them? Make it make sense, right? Are we getting it now? If your child is with you, how could you not protect them? Where is the opportunity given? Y'all not seeing the separation? The opportunities in these systems? They keep playing you over and over and over again. In so many fucking ways. But most importantly, with your children. So again, who are you impressing? If it's not your children, who are you impressing? Because aside from yourself, the only person you really need to impress is your children. You want them to look you as a hero, right? You know? Because they already do the best version. Right? Because they deserve that. You know, your extension. I'm saving my star seeds even if they don't come from self. Fuck the whole shebang. This shit phony. But yeah, but if your star seeds with you, how could you not protect them? That's what I'm saying. How could you not protect them if they with you? Where would be where would be the opportunity? Unless you sleeping. <laughs> like that I Unless you sleeping, where would where would there be an opportunity? And even in that, you should be not too far away to take care of that. 
So don't get offended by what she said or the names. Y'all attracted to that. Y'all love being a bad bitch. But which which one's more important? Which title? Because a mother is still a beautiful thing. Y'all, right, right, first of all, y'all, y'all calling yourself a female dog, a bad female dog. Make it make sense. But you know what a most beautiful and sacred title you can be ever given? As mother. Y'all losing focus. Y'all attention is on the wrong thing. And it's really simple to fix. Like, you shouldn't... Like, at the end of the day, I'll only be mad if you just be defensive and not... Hey, I miss you too. Like, don't be defensive. Like, fix your ways. Just fix your ways. Be better for your children. If not for yourself. Because you're just here trying to... Again, who... Are you impressing? Are you getting paid for this shit? I want to know. Because the amount of time that y'all spend on this shit be crazy to me. Uh, yeah. Since, you know what? Since I'm getting some love, I want to see some love too. Thank you, Aquarius. I love you. Thank you, Shakira. I love you. Thank you, Trish. I love you. I love you, Eric. I love all you guys. I love my reflections. Because if nobody told you guys today, let me be the person to tell you. I love you. Okay? Even y'all mamas too. You know I'm talking about y'all. Like, I love all y'all. Real shit. I just want us to be the best version of ourselves, but not only for ourselves. But if we're going to choose to be mothers, let's do that too. For them. Because they deserve that. Because, again, because I mean, think about it. If you if you got things done, you were that insecure that you had to go pay it to get it done. You know what I mean? And how are you going to teach your kids self-love? How, how does that make sense? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a contradiction. It don't add up. Because God forbid you was one of those statistics. You know what I'm saying? And you had a choice. That's what's more hurt, like hurtful. You had a choice. So just let's let's choose to do better. And not care about what society thinks. Or trying to be cookie cutter. And have more fun with our children. Instead of in separation. Like where are y'all going? Escaping. All the time. Like I don't get it. Like. All I, all I know is too much distractions. Too much distractions. I get it. I get it. But it's, the, it, it's not a good enough excuse, though. Not for me, anyway. Not when it comes to the star seeds, the children, like, who matter and deserve better from us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, stop being so defensive. And then you know what the thing is? Y'all know, y'all know. Like, y'all act like y'all don't know a mom or a dad who about that life, who they out every weekend. Where do you ever see pics with their children? And if then, it's only when the moment they're with them. How about all the other times? Bro, we only get a certain percentage on these social media things. We got to, come on, you know what I'm saying? So we can't act like we defensive and be like, mm, 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 who you talking about? Well, what do you got to be defensive about? What are you defending? Question that. What are you defending? And does it make sense? Does it add up? And then look at the, the results in your children. Because when they grow up, and you, and you see them lacking and can't even be in a relationship, who do you think they got that from? Or the choices of the person who made them? Okay? 
But that was all I had to say. Man, I almost did not come on to today, but I did because I did see those things and I'm just like, it's so easy to like react, but nah, just don't look, don't read things with emotions. Like read things for what it is and act like you have some perception or like perspective and know what they're really talking about. I feel like y'all just quick to be defensive over like so quick for no reason. That's why it's fuck the phones and get back to reality. Yeah, real reality. Not these masks, not these things you can pay for. And then y'all get mad when I talk about convenience. Man, the audacity. Crazy. But anyways, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I hope you guys have a prosperous rest of your moments. Um... Yeah, let's just choose to do better. And, you know, always from the heart chakra. Again, I'm not judging no no woman. Like, every... every Or parent. Again, parent. I need to stop saying woman. I know it definitely. Because it says bad bitch. So, obviously, I'm talking about women. But it's really the parents, too. Like, it's the men, too. Like, if she's not taking accountability, where are you stepping in? You know what I'm saying? And where she's lacking. Like, it's not just her her child... Like that's part of you too, and if you really care about that shit, you would you'll be more intentional too. Just saying, because just because she's doing it or she ends up with the baby and she has to, and then think about it. Think about it. The reason why they need to have fun and do all these things is because they're working outside of their roles to begin with. They're doing the most, trying to be something that they don't really have to be in. But look at if she has to be the dude working, doing all this shit. I mean, I can I can empathize. Like I'm compassionate. Like I get the escaping. You know what I'm saying? But what are we gonna do about that? Is what I'm saying. Like obviously that's not productive or conducive for the child. That's not the best upbringing that you're giving them. Um, and again, the word title to be a mom is a lifelong thing. So, or a dad, a father is a lifelong thing. So, why are we cutting this short? Like, if that makes sense. But, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Y'all will see me tomorrow. Well, next rising, yes. Because I've made that commitment. But, yeah. But, unity, infinity. Um, and, yeah, be great. Be, not be great be amazing be exuberant <laughs> like Shakir like to say be abundant be limitless but most of all like be loving be kind to yourself and your children 